How's it going guys? Alright, today we are going to be looking at a gamer day. Got an arcade block, so we're going to be cracking this guy open. I'll show you what you got for the month of July. I know it is August, but they always are late. But we'll get into that. I also went and picked up some uh, temp control coils for my sub tank mini. So I wanted to try temperature control on that and see how that did. And as you can see, it's coming off good at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm vaping on some uh, Reverb Psycho Billy. Now this is a Trix. The Trix cereal. You know, you silly rabbit, Trix are for kids. Well, you silly rabbit, vaping's for adults. Stay tuned after the cutscene, we'll get into the arcade block, see what kind of goodies we got. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, before we get into that, I wanted to go ahead and show you these a little bit. I do have one in here that I uh, try and uh, pop in when I got home. They look just like your regular Kanger Tech replacement OCC coils. Um, the only difference is it's nickel, of course, and um, the resistance is 0 0.15. Now, nickel wire is a non-resistant wire, so you're going to have to work very hard to get resistance on it. So that's why these are a 0 0.15. Um, but if you know temperature control, you don't vape in wattage mode, you vape in temperature mode. So your wattage is going to be jumping all over the place, but the recommended range they want you jumping from is 20 watts to 45 watts. So, so I've got it at 450 degrees and it is vaping great. And I love this tank so much that um, until I try temperature control coils in my Aspire Triton, this is probably going to be my favorite tank. I do like the Segeli tank and I'll go ahead and do a video for that sometime soon because it does have the temperature control but so far this is my favorite tank it always has been since I started vaping and doing temperature control in it it's still the winner for me so I'm definitely loving the sub tank mini with them nickel coils in it but with that out of the way let's go ahead and get into the gamer shit also, Arcade Block has been really slack, and I did not even get a tracking number for this. I had no idea it was coming today, which is kind of cool because it's a surprise, but, you know, the lack of communication from Arcade Block, I'm really thinking about just axing this and maybe getting a vape subscription box for the channel, you know, or something else, maybe Zample Box, but I'm really starting to get disappointed. Not with the stuff that comes in this, it's always great, but with just their customer service and you know how long it takes to get these things. I should get these in July. This is a July box. It's August. I got it today. I shouldn't be getting my shit the following month. But other than that, let's go ahead and pop it open. I'm always excited to get these when I do get them. It's just I don't like waiting so long and you know when I'm dropping 30 bucks on the damn thing, I should get my tracking number. It's not hard to get that email. They're usually pretty good about sending it out, but I did not get it, so I am really kind of disappointed with our K block. Um, what the hell? You know, can't you send me a little fucking email with my tracking number? Is it that difficult, really? Anyway, you know, I am, I love the stuff that comes in with it, you know, but I'm starting to get stacks and stacks of gaming t-shirts, and I don't even wear my other t-shirts anymore, but I do love this uh, Mario Power Ranger mashup. It's awesome. But, uh... Let's go ahead and crack this thing open, because uh, I do always love getting arcade block and as always it comes in the Nintendo style box it does look like a Nintendo it always is packed with awesome goodies um, I did hear that Nintendo was going to be coming up with one of these so I may just ask this and get the Nintendo monthly box it depends on what's going to be in those I'm not sure but uh, without further ado let's go ahead and uh, cut this bitch open and uh, let's see if she bleeds kidding it's not gonna bleed. Alright, I'll let you guys get the first look at it. Ooh, is it a game? No, nope, that's just the box. <laughs> Alright. I can't even see what's in it. Not fair. 
Alright, so, uh, let's see what we got. It looks like I got a Funko Pop figurine, and it is Makarov from the game Evolve. I did like Evolve. It was a really cool game. The concept behind it, if you don't know, um, there's you can either be a human or you can be this giant monster, and you run around and eat you know other animals and just gain superpowers and then they let loose the, the humans about a minute and a half after the monster gets let loose and they gotta hunt the monster down and the monster's gotta either try to escape by building up his power or by defeating all the humans it's, it's a definitely a different tank take on a first person shooter you know team deathmatch style game so you know neat here's the other uh, guys that they come with in the series but I do have a couple of these, so I'll go ahead and add it to the shelf. I got a Captain America back there somewhere. But now I got a gamer one, so sweet. Okay. Looks like I got some uh, Cut the Rope micro figurines. They are called Nummies. They are micro figurines. Let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we got. Ooh, they are kind of squishy. <laughs> so I got a uh, little heart-shaped uh, peppermint candy looking thing. It's bouncing off because I'm always dropping shit. A little... <laughs> Ooh. And it looks like a little balloon. And it says, for exclusive access to cut the rope levels, log on and enter the passcode. <laughs> I ain't telling you. <laughs> Get your own damn passcode. All right, uh, so th that's pretty neat. Let me go pick up the, the shit I'm dropping. Cause I'm always dropping shit, you guys know me. All right, so I found the damn thing. It went rolling away on me. <laughs> but, so the balloon, the little guy, and uh, a little peppermint style candy. There's a whole bunch of them to collect course like always it wouldn't be collectibles for nothing all right check it out we got a Sonic World Unite Battles comic book Ooh, and that looks like an arcade block exclusive issue number one and I'm a total comic book nerd I don't really read them but I collect them sometimes I'll bust them out and read them Every now and again, I gotta tell you, Dan, fuck what that rabbit says. Tricks are for adults. <laughs> All right, an arcade block exclusive. So it looks like this is a CD, and it is called a Coin Op Crush by DJ Organic Mega Ran. It's an arcade block exclusive item, and it looks like uh, just a bunch of uh, mixed uh, songs by some DJ that I'm guessing are going to be uh, video game related. So that's neat. I'm going to have to go ahead and pop this in the old CD player, player and check it out. Classic console cartridge coasters. Bad ass. Check that out. And on the cover you got a, a Mario Japanese style one. I wonder uh, I wonder what else is in there. Didn't find out. Oh, slice the bottom open here. So the coasters. Looks like we got a Contra style knockoff, a DuckTales knockoff, and an Excite Bike, Excite BMX knockoff. So they're kind of knockoffs, but they do look like little Nintendo cartridges. So that's cool, you know, little coasters. Comes with a little Nintendo controller uh, topping there. 
Alright. And of course, looks like we got a two t-shirt. Like I said, it was going to be a two t-shirt month. Let me go ahead and make sure that... Uh, yep, so we get the Funko Pop Vinyl. And let's go ahead and open the rest of these. Uh, these two t-shirts. Now this was the, I know we were going to get a Last of Us item, so that's what this is going to be. Flip around here and show you guys. Now that's a t-shirt of a clicker warning sign. Any of you who have played The Last of Us will know what a clicker is. Very great game. It is, uh, the story is amazing. I got it over there on the shelf and if I could pull it out real quick and show you guys. But the story, it's a story driven game, survival style game and it's amazing. So I definitely recommend checking out The Last of Us. So I'm excited to get that t-shirt. And the bonus t-shirts are always random <laughs> that's pretty cool though uh, looks like this one came out of a horror block and it says I love evil and I fucking do love evil <laughs> so uh, cool you know it's not a video game related t-shirt but that's still pretty cool because I fucking love evil no I'm a big horror fan I don't really subscribe to the horror block but you know ever since yeah, I was a kid you know I can remember I loved watching horror flicks slasher flicks you know uh, big uh, Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger fan you know Child's Play the Chucky doll Michael Myers, you know, the Halloween series, definitely a big, you know, slasher flick fan. So that's cool. So we'll go ahead and do the rundown on the card. And uh, if you want to check out Arcade Block, you go to www.nerdblock.com slash arcade. And you can subscribe to your Arcade Block. I'll go ahead and throw a link down to the website here in the description box. It's $19.99 a month plus tax and shipping and handling. It, you know, it's close to around $30 a month. But, you know, you get a bunch of gamer goodies every month. It's very awesome. I'm not a big fan of their shipping methods or how long they take to ship and all that shit. In my opinion, if you're going to pay for a monthly box, it should come the month that, you you know, they claim the box is. You know, send it somewhere in the middle of the month rather than at the tail end. That way people are giving them the month that they're saying rather than the following month. You know, that's just me, but... You know, I still am a big fan of the stuff that does come in these. This is my favorite subscription box to get every month because of the quality of the items that come in it. But I'm very disappointed with, you know, their shipping methods. So, Arcade Block, if you're watching, get your shit together. And I did not receive my tracking number as well, like I said before, so. I don't know. What the fuck? Alright, so we'll do the rundown of the card. Got that uh, Funko Pop uh, Makarov from the Evolve video game. We got the, let's see, we got that uh, Last of Us T-shirt. We got the Cut the Rope figurines. We got the Coin Op Crush CD. We got the Sonic comic book. We got the video game cartridge coasters, and we got that bonus T-shirt from the Horror Block. That says I Love Evil. Neat. So go check them out. I'll give you one for the road. And I'm gone. Oh, uh, also, you know, the logo contest, I still haven't received many logos, so send them shits in. I want to see what you got. Even if you got a rough draft and you're still working on it, send them to me. I want to see what you guys got and what you're working on. And if you think of any prizes you'd like to, you know, to win for that, let me know down in the comments. Remember to follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. Links down in the description. One for the road. And I'm out of here, guys.